بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی نیم از پروفیسر شازیہ کریم اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ول ڈلیور لیکچر آن دا ٹاپک لائف سائیکل آف این جو اسپرمس فار دا اسٹوڈنٹس آف سیکنڈ ایئر پری میڈیکل نو اسٹوڈنٹس کالنگ آر دا میلنگ آر دا مین ہیڈنگس وچ آر انکلوڈیڈ ان دا لائف سائیکل آف این جو اسپرمک پلانٹ فرسٹ ہیڈنگ از ڈیولپمنٹ آف میل گیمیٹو فائٹ سیکنڈ ون از ڈیولپمنٹ آف فیمیل گیمیٹو فائٹ اینڈ دا تھرڈ ون از پولینیشن نیکسٹ ون از فرٹیلائزیشن دین ڈبل فرٹیلائزیشن دین ایمبریو ڈیولپمنٹ اسٹرکچر آف سیڈ اینڈ ان دا لاسٹ سیڈ جرمینیشن ناؤ وی ول ڈسکس ایچ اینڈ ایوری ہیڈنگ one by one first of all we are starting with the now we are starting with the first heading that is development of male gametophyte now all of you are familiar with the structure of an angiospermic flower it is having reproductive parts which are androecium and gynoecium androecium is the male reproductive part of the flower and it is having anther and filaments now this is the ts of anther anther is having pollen sacs now this is microsporangium each pollen sac is having microsporangium which is having a microspore mother cell after that the microspore mother cell it will undergo meiosis as a result of meiosis four haploid microspores are formed and out of these four each of the microspores undergo mitosis it means it will divide mitotically as a result of mitosis now it is having two nuclei one is tube nucleus and the other is generative nucleus then after that next step is pollen tube or germination of pollen grain it actually occurs during the process of pollination and what happens during this process that the start of pollen tube formation and inside the pollen tube it is having tube nuclei and the generative nucleus will give rise to two sperm nuclei now up to this the development of male gametophyte is completed now we are starting the next heading that is development of female gametophyte now the gynoecium gynoecium is having stigma style and ovary and ovary is having ovule now this is the structure of an ovule ovule is having megasporangium and megaspore mother cell now megaspore mother cell will undergo meiosis and as a result of meiosis four haploid megaspores are formed out of these four megaspores three will degenerate and one will survive now this is the surviving megaspore the surviving megaspore it will undergo three mitotic divisions after the first mitotic division as you can see it is having two nuclei after the second one it is having four and after the third mitotic division it is having eight nuclei now there occurs a rearrangement of these nuclei and as a result of it from the upper four nuclei one come in the center and from the lower four one also come into the center now these central nuclei are called as polar nuclei and the upper three they are called as antipodal cells now the lower larger one is called as egg cell or egg nuclei and the remaining cells which are on the side they are called as synergids or help cells now till this point 
द एंड ऑफ डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फीमेल गैमिटोफाइट और एम्ब्रियोसेक इज कम्प्लीटेड और यू कैन से द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ फीमेल गैमिटोफाइट इज एंडेड एट दिस पॉइंट नाउ वी विल कंटिन्यू आर लेक्चर इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास इन विच वी विल डिस्कस द रिमेनिंग हेडिंग्स दैट इज पोलिनेशियन फर्टिलाइजेशन डबल फर्टिलाइजेशन एंड द रिमेनिंग टॉपिक्स विच आर लेफ्ट ओके थैंक यू स्टूडेंट्स